A vision without a plan is just a wish. You know, the vision is what you want to achieve, but the plan is how you're going to get there. And you absolutely need both. I was working with IBM um, throughout my Olympic career before I learnt to ski and then very much for a number of years after. I spent 18 years as a global executive working across sales, delivery, strategy and transformation. I am now a company director um, for organisations across health, not-for-profit, sport and commercial sectors. You cannot be great at something that you're not passionate about. Now, you can fake passion, but faking it won't sustain you. So you either need to hold on to the passion that you've got for what you do, or find ways to consciously reignite it along the way. And if you can't hold on to that passion, then that's when you should probably look for something else to do. My goal planner has been invaluable for anything that I have really wanted in my life. Whether you want to write a book, run a marathon, start a business or improve a business, doesn't matter what your goal is, this is simply a process and structure that works. So I knew in the year before the Olympics, most women in the world were doing about 15 to 20 training jumps per day. And my teammate and most of the men were doing about 30 jumps a day. Well, I took the very first jump of the spring. And when the snow was falling on this facility, I took the very last jump of the fall. Over the course of the summer before the Olympics, I actually averaged 38 jumps per day, which meant that I did 800 more jumps than my nearest competitor. We could all probably ask ourselves from time to time, am I working hard enough when nobody else is watching? I don't know a single other aerial skier who rigorously tested water, Gatorade, fruit juice, coffee, music type, snack types, to understand the influence of all of those things on their blood sugar level and their ability to focus and perform. I stayed awake all night and had no sleep and I also had nothing to eat because who knew when I got to the Olympics whether I would be too nervous to eat or sleep the night before the Olympic final. We didn't know, but we did know that I would still be able to jump. So not only did I want to be prepared for them, I actually wanted to be the expert in dealing with those things. So I have no doubt that hard work, planning and preparation were vital to my success. Sometimes in life you can plan the pants out of things and life will still throw you the crappiest of curveballs. And all you can do is build yourself to be resilient enough to get through it. And the first thing we did was go straight to experts, counsellors. And with their help, we were very quickly able to channel our grief towards something positive. And we set up a charity in Finnan's honour called Finnan's Gift. And I'm really proud to say now that over the last seven years, we have been able to raise over $2 million for cardiac care in this country. I, of course, have no idea what any of you want to do next in your life, personally or professionally. But you know the one thing I can promise you? Is that if you identify it, and then you really apply yourself to achieving it, all the effort will be worth it. Thank you.